Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. May you see it in the presence of God. The power of being still. Of 
being still. Some might think that being still means doing nothing. But I think there's a deeper meaning to be still. You see, being still in God means to stop worrying. To stop trying to control everything. To wait. But not only to wait, but to know something. And somehow, with what you know, to find contentment. And to find peace. Simply to let go. And let God. We all face moments when our world spins and our hearts race. Can I get a witness? Amen. And being still is the last thing that we feel. Yeah. We want to take matters sometime into our own hands. Can I get a witness? Amen. Some of us want to fight. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. Learn to practice Psalm 46, verse 10. And I'd like to share with you three things that I've learned that the power of being still really means. Can I share it with you? The writer of Psalm 46 says that God is our refuge in times of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. God is ready to help us. Yeah. Yeah. In the present moment, right now, he is ready to help us. And right now, we can place our trust Amen. in him. And if we place our trust in him, then there is no need to fear, no matter what happens around us. There is no need to fear. God stands as the helper of his people. Can I get a witness? Amen. Out of any set of circumstances. Mm -hmm. And the theme here in Psalm 46 is the greatness of God mm. and his power. To deliver us from things that are beyond our abilities. If it's out of your control, if it's beyond your ability, God is able. Amen. Yes. I wish I had a witness here. Yes. Amen. Yes. The greater the things we face in life. Sometimes it feels like the less we can do to deal with it. Mm. But the writer of the psalm wants people to understand that it doesn't matter what we face in life. Yeah. Come on, come on. God is greater. Amen. 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 I'm not trying to minimize what you might be going through, but I'm here to let you know that God is greater than whatever it is that you Thank want. you. Stop telling God how big your storm is and start telling your storm how big your God is. That's right. That's right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, God will give us a situation, amen, where we cannot fight it under our own strength. Right. And we need to stop fighting, therefore, and allow God to take his rightful place as Savior and deliver. Mm -hmm. The word still kind of means to relax. Yes. Let go. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Are you feeling stressed out? Do you feel like you need an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication? Mm -hmm. Are you able to sleep at night? Mm -hmm. If not, you need to let go. All right now. And let God. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let God. Yeah. Let go and let God. 
and often, let's be honest, mm -hmm. this is the last thing we want to do. When the world is spinning, when we feel like we have no control over our situation. You turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Let it go. Give it to God. Let it go. Let it go. All of that. So first, I want to talk about the waiting and the stillness. The writer saw something and said, be still. Be still. Like kids say, chill. Yes. That's right. That's right, now. That's right. Chill. But don't just chill. Chill and know I'm gone. That's right, now. Come on, now. And we cannot know God. If we are rushing here and there mm -hmm. with countless voices pulling us in various directions. Sometimes we need to turn off the telephone. Don't log in to Facebook. We need Instagram alone. Stay off TikTok. And be still. Sit down. Mother Martha said, I'm shut up. I think that's another way to be still. <laughs> Peace be still. Peace be still. We, we must learn, I'm going to help somebody right here. We must learn to say no to some of the demands made upon us. Some of you are stressed out because you don't know how to say no. That's right. That's right. Come on, guys. Come on, somebody. Right, now. Don't know how to say no. That's me. But right or a priority should be God first. Right. And everything else second. That's right. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Amen. Teach pastor, teach us. One of Satan's traps is to get us so involved in activity yeah, come on. that we have no time to be still oh. in the presence of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. How are you going to know what to do come on. if you're not still enough to hear God? What you say? Come on, Pastor. And the devil has many voices. Ooh. He can sound real good. Amen. Amen. He can sound like Barry White. <laughs> yes, you're right about it. Come on. Sometimes God must force us to be still. He has a way of doing that. Many a person, God has to put flat on their backs before they can be made to listen. Come on, come on, Pastor. Sure, you're right. You know anybody like that? Yeah. Yep, you're right. Be still and know I'm God. We must take time, our brothers and sisters, to hear Him. Yes. Mm -hmm. To get to know <coughs> Him as a person with whom we want to spend some time with. When was the last time we used just you and God? Amen. Amen. You got to take that time sometime with just you and God. Stop answering all the phone calls. Stop answering the door all the time. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I hear you. And chill. Chill. Somebody needs to be chilling. Some other person needs to just say chill. 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 With the Lord. I help somebody. We need to stop being so uptight mm -hmm. and anxious. Mm -hmm. And we need to wait for God to act in our troubled situation. When we do relax, it will be beneficial to us. It will stop a lot of ulcers. High blood pressure. Come on, somebody. Amen. Stress. Yes. Be still simply means to quiet down, be patient, and watch God 
solve the problem. That's right now. Wait on the Lord. Amen. I don't need to wait in the stillness, but the writer talks about the wisdom in the stillness. Mm. He not only said, be still, he said, but and know that I'm all. That I know. For real, for real. Yes. See, being still will help us to learn about God and cause us to praise God for his great wisdom and how he handles our trouble. You know, sometimes you can't work it out. But why are you trying to figure it out? He's already working. Thank you. Thank you. But a few of us today are really interested in knowing about God. We want to know about him, but we don't want to know him. Mm. All right, now, come on. Can I get a witness? Teach, Pastor, come on. The knowledge we need most is to know, is to simply know God. And you get to know him, amen, by when you wait and you see God fix what you were unable to fix. Mm -hmm. He knows all about what you're going through. Sure, yeah. sure. He knows all about your coming in and your going out. He knows you better than you know yourself. Sure, you're right. Sure, you're right. We need wisdom and stillness. But some of us have gotten ourselves in so much trouble because we didn't wait. Some of us got on the wrong bus. Uh -huh. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, we did. Because we got impatient mm -hmm. and we couldn't wait mm. any longer. I said this morning, Daddy, to say that money is burning a hole in the pocket. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Mm. Come on, somebody. Then you start making mistakes. Because mm -hmm. you don't wait. God answers prayer three ways. Mm -hmm. This is his wisdom. No. Sometimes God says no. No. But whenever he says no, always know that he has something better for you. Amen. That's why he said no to that. If you just hold on, God got something better for you. But you got to know that he's God. And no good thing will he withhold for them who love him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Then he said no, and then he says yes. Amen. We love him when he says yes. <laughs> yes. But then he says no, then he says yes, and then he says wait. Mm -hmm. And that's when some of us we don't like to wait. Mm -hmm. We don't like to wait. All right. That's why McDonald's and those fast food restaurants we don't even like to wait to fry a hamburger no more. We just go, we just, we want it. Sometimes like that in our relationships too. We don't want to be patient until God builds that thing to how he wants it to be. You know, he is the potter, we are the clay. And it takes some time, it takes time sometimes to build, amen, in his wisdom, the vessel that he wants you to be. But not only do I want to talk about the weight in the stillness and the wisdom in the stillness, but finally, the, the, the worship in the stillness. He says, be still and know that I'm God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. That's, that's God's plan. He is not going, watch this, somebody needs to hear this, he is not going to let the enemy win. Thank you. He is determined to bring glory to himself in our circumstances. Can we believe that? It may not look like we win it now, can I get no winners, but in the end we're going to win. So therefore the battle not even yours. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This is really a call to worship. Mm -hmm. Because if you know he's going to do it, amen, first, you know he's able, amen, and you being still, you chilling because you're waiting on it, amen. Mm -hmm.
Lord. Yes, you do. With all your heart. And lean not into your own understanding. But with all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will direct your path. Somebody needs to understand that it's time for you to be still now. Let God order your steps. Amen. You need to let God do it. Amen. Because now you don't. You done drove the bus into the ditch, carrying you know, the wheel. Now you need to say, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, work it out. Jesus, have your way. Nobody but you, God. Nobody but you. In the midst of the situation, fall fresh on me. Let the power. The Holy Ghost yeah. speak for me, yeah. move for me, yeah. fight for me, yeah. work for me. Yeah. Yes, Lay that weight yeah. upon the Lord. Hey. Shall renew their strength. That's right. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Yeah. They shall run and not be weary. Right. They shall walk and not faint. Now where are all the still people at? Where are all the people that just being still? I know he's going to do it. But I'm waiting on him. I ain't fools about it. I mean, he, he's that good. He's that kind of God. And I'm not going to move ahead of him. Thank you. No more. I'm going to wait. On the Lord and be of good courage. Yes. And let Him strengthen my heart. That is the power in being still. Somebody needs to hear that this morning. Amen. Yes, yes. The Lord knows what you're going through. The Lord knows what you've been through. That's right. The Lord knows what they did. And he has heard your prayer. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, you thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Lord. And know that he's God. He's right, going to right. be exalted. Yes. Not only in the earth, but amongst the heathen. That means he's going to be exalted rather than your enemies. Come on, somebody. He's going to show up in you. And they're going to know that you have a God that you can go to. That you have a God that you can call. And we Thank worship you. that God. Thank you, Lord. Because of who He is. Ah, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And so, Lord, we welcome you into us. Welcome into this broken vessel. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts as we offer the praise of your name. That's it, let us
Don't leave me in my own hands for now and forevermore. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Just hope somebody to a tear. 